and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is an episode of Paleo with Pros. I'll just remind you what that's all about because it's an opportunity where I get to work with professional chefs and chefs that are not necessarily uh, strict paleo, but a lot of their dishes are naturally paleo. So I bring them into my kitchen and work with them and they create, again, really quick and simple but delicious dishes. I'm really excited to have back in my kitchen self-taught chef Leslie Tucker. She's here today to share one of her delicious and hopefully quite simple recipes. So what are we making today? Today we're going to roast chicken, chicken thighs with harissa paste and preserved lemons. Oh, sounds good. Mm, lunch. <laughs> we're going to use some exotic sounding ingredients that are really easy to find. Uh, that are going to change your kitchen game. So what do we need to make this recipe? Right, four chicken thighs. Skin on is always best because it, it gets nice and crispy and delicious. Uh, a sweet potato, a parsnip. And then the secret ingredients, not so secret ingredients. I've gotten you preserved lemons, which is basically just lemon and salt that has been preserved in a glass jar for almost 12 weeks now. I'll tell you what. It's great in food, but it's even better in a dirty martini instead oh, of an olive. That's what we need, a martini! Martinis. <laughs> <laughs> the second part of this marinade is harissa, harissa paste. Okay. It's traditionally from Morocco. It's basically uh, a paste made with olive oil, chilies, cumin, ground cumin, ground coriander. Sometimes they put rose petals in there Ooh. and roasted red pepper. Am I meant to taste it like that? Yeah, absolutely. Just Ooh. dump your finger in. Wow. It's good. It's got a spice, right? Yeah, lo loads, of, loads of good spice in there. Now, rose petals. Mm. Dried rose petals can sometimes be tricky to find. Do you know what? I know this because I was there yesterday. My girlfriend's just opened up a shop on the top of Portobello Road um, called Babajani. <laughs> and it's all Middle Eastern, amazing food, a lot of paleo stuff. And I saw that she had a big jar of these for sale if you're looking for them. Mm -hmm. um, so, I've popped uh, a whole lemon, preserved lemon in there, approximately two tablespoons of harissa paste, three garlic cloves, and I've crushed a few rose petals in there, and a bit of olive oil, just mm -hmm. a splash, and we're going to blend it. Okay. Well, for those that, like me, don't get along with the kitchen, a splash. A splash. <laughs> Do splash. A splash is usually a splash. Is a Oh, about a tablespoon. 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 Okay. I'm about to blend the ingredients for the marinade. I'm going to put the marinade over the, the chicken and the vegetables. Now, this is where you get your hands dirty because you really, really want to get that marinade into all the bits of the chicken. So you get a really equal spread of the flavour. Do we put any oil in for the chicken and, and the vegetables before or not? I have put a really light a brushing of oil on the bottom of the pan mm -hmm. and I've added oil to the marinade. I'm not going to add any more oil because the chicken we've left the skin on. Yeah, it will come. And, and I would really encourage you always to cook chicken with the bone on. I know it's really popular to get chicken without it, but it, it makes the world of difference. Flavour. Flavour-wise, um, having the bone on, skin on. If you need to and you're watching calories, take the skin off afterwards, but leave it on when you're cooking because it adds to the flavour of the meat that you're eating. Because I personally, I don't eat skin. Yeah. I, just, I don't like it, I don't like taste. So am I still going to get the flavours of this in the absolutely, the vibe? Absolutely. There's a sweetness in the fat that you're not going to get from any, anywhere else, and, and, and that's where the taste is. Um, if you if you when you strip out the bone and the and the skin, you're basically not going to get much flavour. And then what you land up doing generally is adding oil to it because you want to have a taste. Uh, yes. So you you know it's a trade off. Okay. <laughs> but you can use its own natural oil. Yeah. Which is your yeah. Better. Yeah. Okay. Shall I put this in the oven? Off you go. How long? Um, that should take about half an hour at 200 degrees. 200 degrees. Yeah. You cool. need a hot oven. Just you know everybody's oven is different. So. Uh, uh, we, don't, like how you, how we don't you cover it. No foil, no, no nothing. No, no. You don't want to cover it because you want it to slightly char. Okay. When you cover meat in an oven with foil, you're steaming it essentially. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So we I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> essentially, you're steaming it 
uh, which um, you know you might want to do. But in this case, you want the you want the skin to char slightly and the natural sugar in the in the marinade to to start caramelizing. That's where all the taste is. Oh, I love it. Okay, so just prepping the spring greens. I liked how you rolled that to cut it. Oh, you want me to do it again? I love that. <laughs> it's just to make it easier to, to cut. Just roll it all up. We're going to have some thin ribbons of it. See, that, that seems quite normal to you, but it's just not to me. I would never have... It makes it great. easier to eat, otherwise you've got these huge leaves covering mm. your face <laughs> when you try to eat it. Great. Okay, so this is something I should be able to do quite easily. Yeah, well, but much unknown. <laughs> You're going to put a little, little splash, mm -hmm. mini splash of that. olive oil. And I'm not going to use too much garam masala, literally half. Huh? So as it turned out, we do, I do, have this in my cupboard. <laughs> Never leave the stove when your spices are, are toasting. Watch them like a hawk, otherwise they will burn. So that's on high. We keep it on that's high. On high. And oh. it goes the spring greens. It's changing colour. It too. is, and you can see that the spices are sticking mm. to the to the leaves. I'm going to throw in the uh, the seeds. It adds a bit of crunch and interest to the to the dish. And you can throw in any seeds. We're using pumpkin seeds here, but any seeds or nuts. If you if you fancy. Um, okay, that looks good. So, so is that ready? It's, well, it's almost ready. It's a bit chewy now. Sometimes oh, okay. some people might want to add water so that it's a little bit less limp, but I don't think it really needs it needs that. Mm. Uh, spring greens are done. I'm gonna taste a little bit. Mm. Not as bitter no. as as kale would be. Mm, it's great. And it's, it's great to have something different because I use a lot of kale. It's nice to have something different in my paleo recipes. See that? Juices have run clear. This is ready. Let it rest. Let your chicken rest in the pan for approximately 10 minutes. It'll remain warm um, and it'll be delicious. Make sure that you get all the nice crispy bits that are in the bottom of the pan. Now, we had a chat earlier, and I believe this whole dish was made for under 10 pounds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's yeah. organic. You've used organic produce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, it doesn't cost a lot of money to be healthy. <laughs> okay, Kelly, it's time to see if it tastes as good as it smells. And looks. Mm. It looks amazing. Okay, I'm going to start with a bit of sweet potato. <laughs> Enough salt? Mm. Oh, my gosh. So good. Not too spicy. Not too much salt. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. <laughs> Leslie, thank you for joining me again today and I look forward to uh, your next recipe. We'll see Leslie again soon. Don't forget you can find Leslie on Instagram. Her dishes are just amazing. What's your Instagram? I'm Sublime Leslie on Instagram. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget I make lots of other videos on paleo. I also make videos on lifestyle and beauty. And you can find me on social media on Facebook and Instagram at memore.tv. It's covering your face when you try to eat it. How is it? I would be like, put the timer on! This vegetable is really forgiving. It'll, it takes anything. It takes anything. And, like um, me. Really? Yeah, there you go.